After several failed attempts, Boeing's Starliner is still on the launch pad tonight after it was scrubbed just minutes from takeoff. The spacecraft was slated to head to the International Space Station carrying two NASA astronauts. ABC's Faith Abube is at the Kennedy Space Center with more. Roger. All steps are complete prior to terminal count. And with that, Boeing Starliner given the go for launch, but then Operation scrubbed 80. less than four minutes to lift off. LC switch is not ready. Clock stopped at T minus three minutes, 50 seconds. Boeing's first ever crewed mission on hold yet again. Another delay of the critical launch that's already years behind schedule. So we got inside four minutes and then we had a problem with the ground launch sequencer. And that's a, a computer that uh, controls things like retracting umbilicals and the pyro events that uh, release the bolts at the base of the rocket so that when ignition happens, the rocket is you know, free to fly away and do its job. This historic mission is a critical part of NASA's commercial crew program, meant to replace the agency's now defunct shuttle program. But for years now, only the SpaceX Crew Dragon has been able to carry astronauts back and forth to space, while the Starliner mission has been grounded due to technical issues and setbacks. I know it's a little disappointing. We were all excited. And Butch and Sonny were excited to go fly. Um, this is kind of the way space flight is. If the Starliner is able to make a successful launch, NASA will certify the spacecraft as part of its program. But for now, Boeing looking to get the long delayed project back on track as it tries to redeem the company's bruised image. Everything's got to work perfectly. Uh, today we got really close. Uh, it didn't work for us. The team's very professional. They're, they're in their 24 hour scrub work turnaround right now. And when we're ready to go, they'll be ready to go. And the next launch opportunity is either tomorrow, June 5th, or June 6th to see whether this crewed mission gets off the ground. Faith Abube, ABC News, Kennedy Space Center.